And we're live. Going to look at some turtles today. Look at some turtles today. I brought in some turtles from my jewelry, my personal jewelry collection, too. So. If anybody's going to come in. Somebody's here. Is it just me? My hair don't want to go like I want it to go today. It's a little raggedy. No, that's not what I want. Anybody here? Anybody here? Nobody's here. Nobody wants to talk about turtles today. Just me. Oh, not even me. There we are. There's some people coming in. Hey guys, how are you? How you is? I'm going to show you the some of my turtles that actually come out of my own jewelry. This one here, I do believe to be a Brighton turtle, but he's just, he just sits. Hey, great, Grace Celia. Hey, how are you? I collect turtles. I have a big turtle collection. And they're all right here. I have them on shelves up here. And they're all jewelry turtles. So... We'll wait and see who all comes in. See if anybody comes in. I don't know why that one's not posting. It's not posting. There we go. Maybe. I don't want that one there. I done that one wrong. Well, I done it wrong. So there, there's Mike. Hey, Mike. Thanks. I got your payment. So, so I'm gonna. I've been saying uh, since last year that I was gonna share my turtles. So I'm gonna just start sharing. I have. I collect turtles. I love turtle jewelry. I love turtle jewelry, and I wear a lot of turtle jewelry. But I also have a lot that just hangs in here. I have little shelves up over my over my desk. And I uh, uh, have a lot of jewelry in there. And so, anyway, so I'm just going to share turtles. So, I have a couple of silver rings. have this one that is um, opal. It's um, uh, 925. I'm thinking I got this from... Um, Pretty sure I got this from, um, oh, what is that name of that silver company? I buy silver from all the time on on uh, eBay. Anyway, a company on eBay that I buy silver from. Um, let's see. And then this one is a Native American ring that my husband bought me 
um, from um, on sale. Uh, not on, on, yeah, well, no, it wasn't on sale, but um, for my birthday, I can't even spit it out. And it's real pretty. It's got the inlaid. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, it's got all the different stones inlaid. It's got turquoise and spiny oyster and looks like carnelia and opal and black onyx all inlaid here on it. There we go. That's a little better. It's real cute. It's one of my favorite rings. I wear it a lot. I don't know where I wear the turtle ring. Both of the turtle rings quite a bit. I have turtle earrings that I wear a lot. I have these little turtle earrings and they're just a metal turtle earring that they really have lost a lot of their sheen. But that doesn't make them any less special to me. I still like them very well. Um, I have these turtle earrings that I actually made myself. They're cute. They came from, uh, if you guys were part of the um, when we done the bead sale that Dwayne had got a bunch of beads, him and him and April had got a bunch of beads. These ones here have little bitty sea turtles in them. And Vita made me these earrings here. They dangle down and they have the little sea turtles in them with the different stones. Um, Malachi and um, I don't know what that green thing is there on the end. But she made those last year. Let's see. Now this necklace here, I wear this a lot. This is probably the turtle, the turtle that I wear the most. And uh, hey Jude, I'm just sharing my turtle. You know me and my turtles. Uh, and I wear this a lot. And it actually was designed to open for this to open, and you could put things in it. But I bought it at a store. Um, we have a store called Half of half name brand clothing and when I bought it the it was broke but I was able to find the top and uh, uh, I glued it on so but I, I get a lot of compliments and it's actually a Betsy Johnson but I get a lot of compliments on it it's real cute so so adorable and she has to be a she Oops, she's lost one of her little pink stones I'll have to give her a surgery so Anyway, but because I wear it a lot, it, I knock them off. Now, now, these turtles here, I don't remember where I got them. And that's one of the things I don't remember where I get lots of my turtles because I just see them. They might come in lots or somebody might send me. Uh, I know Darlene has sent me turtles. Uh, Cece has sent me turtles. Hey, Roberta, April has sent me turtles. Jude, I think, has sent me turtles. A lot of people send me turtles because they know I like them. Anyway, so those are real cute. And I wear them a lot. I wear these earrings a whole lot. Um, this is another necklace that I wear a lot. No, this not this one. It's another one that's down in here. But let me get this one loose. I, I, had, to un, I had to pull all my necklaces down. This one here. I really like it, and I should wear it a lot. It's a uh, bronze colored. Um, this one came out of my jewelry box, out of my jewelry. Most of these that I'm showing y'all right now came out of my personal jewelry. I don't have a box. I have a wall. No, this one here is not from you. This one. This one here is, uh, I bought it at, um, at half of half name brand uh, store before I ever even started doing YouTube. I've had that one for several years. So, and then I have this one. I do wear it. I like for my turtles to bling. I am the turtle lady, maybe. And I have this one. I'm going to show you all that's in my personal collection, and then I'll start showing you the ones from my shelf. Here, this one is also one that I wear a lot. He's very blingy. My children's church kids love this one. 
this I wear this bracelet all the time all the time and now we're going to get into the ones that are in my shelf so those there are my main wearing ones I do have a few more that I wear that uh, were not put away I'm real bad about dumping stuff I have two real pretty silver plated trays on my um, dresser and I just dump things in it and then I go through like once every other month and clean it all up so anyway but here's the turtles that I made the turtle earrings I made bougie from the beads that I got from you and Dwayne and then these here are the ones that uh, that have the little metal sea turtles in them that um, Vita made me <sighs> those mm. so I'm going to just pull the ones that are laying right here off of my computer because yes I do have some that haven't been put away so is that all of the ones that haven't been put away yeah so I have this cute little one and I got him real recently and I'm thinking maybe he was one that might have been in some of the stuff I got from Jude but I'm not positive but if you recognize the turtle that I show that you sent me, call it out. Call it out. So, anyway. So, and look, y'all know I love me some bling. That's, I mean, that's what I'm known for is my bling. So, I haven't put him on a chain, but I really should put him on a chain and wear him. He's adorable. He can be a pendant or a brooch. He's a cutie pie. And he's got AB stones. So, that's my... Bling and AB, that's my two favorite things. This little guy came from somebody, and I'm pretty convinced that he is a a Brighton turtle because he's got the little Brighton symbol on his belly. So, hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Yep, that one came from you. And this little guy's a sweetheart. He's got the little Brighton symbol on him, and he hangs, if you put him on a chain, he hangs upside down. So, Barbie, I'm just doing my love and jewelry one-on-one, -on -one, showing my turtles. Oh, he's a frog. I do collect a few frogs, but the turtles overtook the frogs. Now, this little guy's cute. He's a cutie with the inlaid. He's got rhinestones, but he's also got enamel inlaid on his shell. And he does say something inside of him, but I think it's just numbers. Yeah, it's just numbers. Oh, he says 2028. So he's from the same company that makes 1928 jewelry. Only he's one of the 2028 pieces. So cute. Didn't even realize he said anything. This little guy says something. I have to get my little bitty one so that I can see better because I can't hardly see all that big one. This one says Monet. Oh, I remember him. Monet. I remember that. That was a Monet turtle. Mm, I bought him in somebody's auction. I don't know who. But I bought him in somebody's auction. I'm not a good keeper up with. Now, I love this little guy. And uh, I don't remember where he come from. I hate that I don't remember, but he's so cute. Look at, his, look at his little stone back. You're working and listening. And that, he's got cute little eyes, rhinestone eyes. Rhinestones on his, well, no, not rhinestone eyes. He's got little standy up. He's got rhinestones on his heads, rhinestones on his flippers. He's a sea turtle, but I like that back on him. He's cute, very cute. So... And then, y'all have all seen that one. And actually, in my personal collection, I have this exact same turtle on a chain that I wear all the time. He was new in a pack that I bought from you. Okay. That, that yeah. So, now, not only do I have turtle jewelry, I have um, turtle tchotchkes. So, I have this little turtle that hangs around. 
He's missing a flipper, but he's too pretty to throw away because look at him. And he's Capo Diamante, made in Italy. So he was too pretty to throw away, broken leg or not. So he just stands so that you don't see his little leg being broke. And he's okay. He can stand. And then that little paperweight blue one. And then this beautiful little wooden carved one. And somebody sent me it. Only it's not really wood. It's made to look like wood. I think it's rosin. You okay? So, Dave and electronics don't get along real well. And he's working on a sermon. And so, he's getting very frustrated. Now, these two little guys are very similar. And I didn't realize it. So, you got that. I showed y'all that one that said 2028. And then, here's this guy. He looks a lot like him with the inlay and the in the thing so he's cute now i'm pretty sure nope this one this little guy is harris pewter a harris pewter turtle hey kathleen yeah i still i don't get rid of the turtles if i get rid of a turtle it's because it slipped through the cracks so and I know that I have one that CC sent that I cannot put my finger on, but I know I did not get rid of it. It's here somewhere. It may be this guy's cute. This guy reminds me of my uh, Trevor Turtle in my story. And if you ever received email from me, you know that uh, my email has a signature in it that talks about my books because I've written a couple books. And I have a children's book that's called Trevor, Trevor, well, it's actually called Diana's Wings, but it's about Trevor Turtle. And so, uh, Trevor Turtle looks a lot like that one right there. So, I'm fishing out some more turtles. I'm going fishing for turtles. You, my friend, are a froggy. You... Come back here. Oh, and I do have, <laughs> I know, it's like, what else does she collect? I do have a few lizards, frogs and lizards. I, I like lizards, too. I like the blingy lizards. Mm, Cindy Lou Bob. You dropped that one just sure as shooting. Where did it go? Is that it? What, baby? That's not a turtle. That's a cameo. There. I don't... I'm trying to be real careful. My son... <laughs> Just because I asked him to, please help mama. He got in the floor and cleaned out from under my desk. So, it makes a lot easier to see things. This guy here is adorable. And I wanted to be sure to show him to you. There. See, who told me last night that I need this? You have four brothers mean as dirt? <laughs> Hold on. See, he looks like oak glass. Um, hold on. Are you okay? What's wrong? Hold on, guys. 
Yeah, those are the ones you said were them. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sometimes he needs so. Anyway, here we go. The little opal light guy. He's a cutie. This one here is a little weird. And I'm pretty sure this one here is a snapping turtle. Don't you think this guy's a snapping turtle? <laughs> so, one time I have a friend, she's done passed on and she died very young. Anyway, we're driving down the road and we go start across this bridge and there's this huge turtle in the road and she's Squalls to a screeching halt. She picks him up and throws him in the back of her truck. And then we go to her house. And uh, turns out he was a snapper. And uh, <laughs> and uh, her dad had to take a great big huge stick and let him snap onto it. And then he lifted him out. And he's like, don't you ever do that again. So... This one here is, uh, I don't know if he's a bead or what. He's got a hole in his belly. And he's carved out of what looks like to be some kind of quartz. Maybe even rose quartz. And he looks kind of like a snapper too. So he's cute. This one here is, he's lost his little tail. But I take in the maimed turtles too. I don't, I don't discriminate against turtles who lose their tails or their legs. This is a turtle sanctuary at my house. So, and he's a little clay turtle that some, so probably a kid made and painted. This little guy has a signature on him. He says Roma, Roma. And he's kind of cool. He's like a vented turtle. You like alligators from a distance or dead in the shelves behind my bar? <laughs> so, he see, he has the, like you can see through, through him. He has vents on top of his shell. He must live in the south. So, <laughs> this guy has a little jelly belly. He is a brooch. He is not signed, but he's his jelly belly. This one here, I love this. I, don't, I think I've got him since I showed the turtles the last time. He's like, he's like tortoise shell plastic. Isn't he cool, Barbie? No, this one's not for sale. I know you were looking for tortoise shell plastic stuff yesterday, but he's not for sale. This guy here, I don't know what he came off of. He's not a pendant. He's not. A brooch or anything. He's just a turtle without a without a little anything to do. He just sits on the shelf. Looks like a turtle. And this one here has a copyright symbol in the middle of his belly. And he's cute. With the big brown stone. And he's got green. Which attracted me to him because Peridot is my birthstone. Then we've got another little sea turtle, and he's a pinback. And he is blingy, blingy, blingy. And then we've got another one that has a, that is a stone of some kind. It has pink quartz, pink quartz on the back of him. So, okay. Now, let's stand up and get some more turtles. There's a turtle. Froggies. Oh, and I like fish too. I like those articulated fish. I have several of them. Tell you, I just don't, I just like, I guess I like reptiles. Is that it? Oh my God. There. Whew. I'm too short in the britches for some of that reaching. 
there's the turtle, and there's the turtle, 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 turtle. I think we might, no, I still have a whole shelf of turtles. So say I think that may be all of them, but I was wrong. So I have this thing of sea turtles, and then I have this ornament <laughs> turtle, copper. And they hang up here on one of my froggies. I have a froggy that's a pin back. And I, well, I have a couple froggies that are pinbacks, and I just stuck them in the, uh, that was a, there we go, there we go, that's the last of the turtles, so, maybe, I think there's some more up there, anyway, so we have this little ring, That is articulated and moves. It's an adjustable ring, but it does articulate and move. This little stone turtle. This pretty blingy turtle that is a pendant with an orange stone. And it's just an orange stone. You can see the reflection in the thing of all the stuff behind it. This little 925, these little 925 turtles. And I know those came from Jude. The little turtles with the turtle on the back. Those came from Jude. And this little turtle here that is signed Leah. So I'm assuming Leah Sophia. With um, faux pearls. This one here has something wrote on his foot. Let's see what his foot says. Y'all know? I don't know. Oh, he's Sterling. I should have known he was Sterling just by the kind of patina he had on him. So a little um, kind of southwestern look turtle. Sterling. I don't, when I pick out the jewelry that I like, it has nothing to do with who makes it or anything like that. It's just, I like it. <laughs> this is Kenneth J. Lane, though. Did I show that stone turtle that's different colors? This one here, that one, I showed it earlier. Then I have this one that is Mother of Pearl disc on his back. Oh, he's over on the other table. No, 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 he's right here. He's right here. This is uh, that here. I was like, what are you talking about? This here. He hides right here. <clears throat> this big old guy here. He's stone. And he's for pictures. I take pictures with him sometimes. So, ain't he cute? Sandy, are you still in the hospital? Or did you get to go home, hon? Anyway, he's heavy. You could hurt somebody with him. So, okay, guys, I do have something to tell y'all. Um, last night I was here six hours. I can't do six hour sales no more because I can't get up and move around. And when I got done, my ankles were so swollen. I had a horrible night. I was in pain. My legs hurt from, from swelling up so bad. So we'll have to, I'll have to just pick out the bestest of the bestest things and show them to you and do two, maybe three hour sales. So anyway, those two little turtles are cute. So now I'll have to put all these babies back up. So 
No, it's not your fault. It's totally not your fault. It's not like you forced me to be here. Hey, Darlene, how are you? I still haven't made it through. Don't take the blame. It's not your fault. You did not force me to do anything. But uh, I got to uh, be smart about how I'm taking care of these legs and feet as long as they're swelling. This little guy's a JJ turtle pin back. This little guy is a bolo turtle. And he's kind of cool. He's on a bolo. He's got feathers. He, he just hangs up here on the edge of a on the edge of stuff that one of the fish that I got from Darlene, one of the articulated fish is up there. And along with the uh, tree of life pearls are up there. Oh, there's another turtle and there's turtles. Okay. And then we've got these little turtle bracelets here. Yeah. Do like Dwayne did and just do a certain amount. You are not Barbie. Totally. It is not your fault. But I do realize that I can't do that. This one is pretty. Wood with a little um, stone back. He has a little stone back on him. But he's wood and everything's wooden about him. So, and then we have this little guy. And he's cute. He's just a little, he's got a little, almost looks like, a, a, you know how those blue star sapphires are? Well, almost looks like a blue star sapphire, except for it's brown. Has that little shiny thing, you know, the little shiny, pointy thing. Then we have, now we're, or not something in the floor, but it wasn't a turtle. Because I have all the turtles here. Okay, this guy's just a little frog, but he's cute. He's a little uh, Murano glass frog. <laughs> and he hangs up here. So, <laughs> y'all, it's so funny. So, I have turtle fish. I have frogs. I have uh, lizards. I have a big bear, a uh, big uh, grizzly bear with a, uh, a trout in his mouth. Uh, I have... All these little animals, little critters just sit right here. And they watch me. They watch me be silly. So, And this little guy is cute. He's pretty. Oh no, it's too low. That's what happens. They get, they'll get to working on things and then they'll get something too low, something too high. This little guy is a stone turtle and he is really pretty. I don't know what kind of stone that is polished on his back, but he's real pretty. It's on this little delicate chain. It's real, real cute. I like him. I need to start wearing him. Oh. You have a circus animal jewelry collection and a critter collection too. Well, obviously, I have a critter collection going here. Let's see. Is that another turtle? Yep, that's another little pewter turtle. Little side view turtle. These necklaces all hang from different things here. And then um, here's another wooden turtle. Carved wood. Very cute. There's the top of him. I showed you the bottom of him. It's carved. And then here's a little bitty bitty turtle here. And I know I have more turtles somewhere, but I don't know where they all are. Uh, somebody needs to clean my jewelry up in my room. They need to go and <laughs> put things away. So, I started looking for them, and then I dumped them all. So, anyway, so, I just wanted to share my turtles. Oh, I have this little froggy. He sits up here and guards and watches. So, he's cute. I just like kitschy stuff. I'm, I know I'm silly, but I do. I just like kitschy stuff. My frog and turtle collection actually started with this. 
And if any of y'all watch, do any of y'all watch Clad Queen? <laughs> I never show y'all the view. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I'll just tell you right now, things are a mess. So, but if you ever watch Clad Queen, I saw her show this and I bought it from her. Clad Queen, she does dumpster diving and she sells on Etsy and eBay. I'm picking up my camera. Okay, here we go, guys. So, this is, see these little shelves? Those are what all the turtles sit on. And they hang on all that stuff. That is one of my uh, Whiting and Davis uh, purses that I collect. And then all these turtles, see there's the little bear. And there's Mary, Mother of Jesus. There's the articulated fish, one of them. There's another one down there, you can see. Uh, let's go up higher. This, the greatest of these, um, a nun that I met in Michigan, she made me that that uh, sign and gave it to me when I lived in Michigan in 1990. My cousin makes these uh, big dragonflies with spindles and tin wings. And then uh, this is my, uh, you can see my poster board back here and I have all the beads, my, my little Indian beads and stuff hanging on it. And then I have all of these. They're not all Whiting and Davis, but most of them, a lot of them are Whiting and Davis purses. Some of them are just beaded purses, but most of them are Whiting and Davis. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be real brave. Let's see if I can pull this just a little bit. And show you hanging over there. See all oh, there's another bunch of Whiting and Davis. And what you can't see behind the door is there is more Whiting and Davis purses. And now all that mess that's right over there is purses that need to be sold. Uh, my Poshmark stock and my picture taking station. And then there's my little naked lady. And then there's flowers for the graves. Because we decorate our graves here in Arkansas. Because that's what we do. Anyway, so y'all have seen more of my mess than I'm actually uh, <laughs> ever thought y'all would see. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. But yeah, I do have a lot of Whiting and Davis purses. <laughs> so I don't even know how many I have anymore. So... But yeah, I have a bunch. Oh, and then here's this turtle. I don't think I have. I, I think I've showed y'all him. He's a, a Thai beanie baby turtle. So, so, oh my gosh. I didn't point it towards the floor at all. The floor is like desperately. I have boxes and things everywhere. I've, I have stuff everywhere because I'm my, um, I, I closed down that one booth and I'm moving things from one booth to the other and so so do i use the purses do you use the purses uh do i use the purses no i just look at them they're pretty here i don't use them uh i have carried one of these i carried one one summery day for like we went to uh i don't even remember what we went to and i carried it but uh but those little discs from the Whiting and Davis purses, they get caught on your clothes. Hey, Patsy Crafty, how are you? So, listen, guys. The next time that Patsy does a sale and she offers boxes, save me one. But y'all buy them. They are awesome, okay? She does awesome, awesome boxes. But be sure you save me one. Don't hog them all up, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, I know I'm silly, but. But, uh, uh, oh, here was another turtle. I forgot. A little guy sitting right there. So, ain't he cute? He needs to be put on something. So, anyway, but, yeah. So. Cool. Cool. I can't wait to see that, Jude. So, I just wanted to come on for about 30 or 40 minutes, show you my turtles, and, uh, uh, next week, if everything goes in place, we'll do this on Tuesday afternoon and I will start showing you my cameos. 
but it's going to take us a while on the cameos because I do have a lot more cameos than I do turtles. A lot more. A whole lot more. Now, the cameos all stay in my bedroom except for the ones that I can't bear to put away, like this one that came from Jude. I can't bear to put it away. And so it has set here so that I can pick it up and touch it. Usually once or twice a day, I pick it up and touch it. And then, while ago, I picked up a cameo out of the floor. That's a little metal cameo thing. So, I don't even know where it came from. Maybe out of one of my boxes. I've been doing boxes. I have a humongous box from Darlene that I show you the most beautiful brooch you've ever seen. Hold on. It's right here. You know it is. Oh my gosh. Where'd it go? It was right here. And now I've moved it again. Oh. I found another turtle. Oh. He's a turtle bracelet. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. So. I see the brooch you're talking about. There it is. The most beautiful brooch you've ever seen. Nope. It's right there. It was upside down and I couldn't find it. See that? It is so pretty. Mother of Pearl with Mother of Pearl leaves. The little red rubies. Pink Mother of Pearl background. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. Now, did you guys all see this one? Think I think I showed it to all of y'all, but I don't know if y'all were all here. So... And uh, this one here, Mike sent me. And it has what looks like to be adventuring, rose quartz. Not sure, mother of pearl beads. Has crystal, AB crystals. And then this big mother of pearl disc is so pretty. And I keep it here so I can pick it up and touch it. And I like to touch my things. I like for them to be where I can touch them. And uh, yeah, so... I have I have just a little bunch of stuff. So, I mean, I have a little whole bunch of little things that lay here on my computer. My computer, my my keyboard went out on my computer. And so I uh, plugged in a plug in laptop. And so between the space between my computer and my my keyboard is always full of jewelry. It's always full of jewelry with stuff that is things that are very special to me that I like to just have at my fingertips so that I can touch them and and uh, handle them. So anyway, yeah, um, I like I like for that to be like that. So anyway, so cord our pr pretties. So yeah. Yeah, and then I have some stuff laid up there that I need to get listed. So, anyway, you know, and <clears throat> we were talking about this during the auction last night. Barbie was telling me she threw away her verdigris stuff, and I can't stand to throw away things, even though they may have verdigris on them. And, uh, uh, anyway, but uh, uh, I do my best to clean them up good. And hopefully if they come clean, I'm happy. And if they don't, then then I will sometimes throw away things. But it takes a bit for me to get to that point of throw away. So, anyway, I might have a little bit of hoarder. So, yep, April's going to have to show y'all how many bears that she has and stuff like that. So, we need to see what kind of things we collect. Learn our friends. So, okay, guys, I need to go. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. And don't forget, Barbie's on at 5.